Maria Sanchez's homemade popsicles are more than just a sweet treat on a hot day. This is how we make a living. If not this, then we don't eat. Every month, Maria sells 150 of her homemade ice pops at seven pesos each. It's a meager income for a family of four living in this small, one-room home. Maria's 12-year-old son, Herod, loves playing music and video games. He also dreams of playing sports like the boys in the neighborhood. But Herod can't be as active as other kids his age. He was born with a dangerous heart defect that turned his family's life upside down. When they told me he had this problem and I would have to take him to Mexico City, I sold everything, our house and everything, in order to pay the bills for the necessary tests. Their story is not uncommon. 14,000 children are born in Baja, California, Sur, each year. 1% of those are diagnosed with a heart defect. And you're talking about defects that, once they're treated, in most cases, allow a child to grow up normal and have a normal quality of life, and we hope a normal life expectancy. These are life and death kind of things for each of these families. Until now, the kids who live in this remote area haven't had access to those life-saving procedures. On November 12, 2014, Herod's life changed, thanks to the Los Cabos Children's Foundation's Spirit of Love Heart Program Go ahead, Kelly, put that on. and the cardiac team from Children's Hospital and Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska, led by Dr. James Hamill. The first case was a 12-year-old boy who had an obstruction underneath his aortic valve. That's a tricuspid valve there. And really everything went just fine. He did great, uh, the membrane's out, and he shouldn't have any more trouble. Working together at the General Hospital, they're helping save kids like Herod, while giving local doctors and nurses hands-on training in pediatric cardiac care. Just two days after open heart surgery, Herod went home, as did 11 other young patients after their surgery, thanks to the collaboration of doctors so we'll give it back to and nurses from Baja California Sur and the United States. Eight-year-old Estreita knows what it's like to have her carefree childhood disrupted by illness. She's full of energy now, but in the summer of 2012, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It has been difficult, but we've been able to manage. We've learned to overcome, and she is valiant and strong. Her mother cleans homes to provide for her five children. <laughs> they live in this two-bedroom house with Estreita's grandparents and aunt. They had no money for cancer treatments. One of the problems that we have here in Mexico is almost the cancer sickness came with a tough areas like this location and it's very sad because they don't have uh, money to support the chemotherapies and all the medicines that they need. The Spirit of Joy Pediatric Oncology Center is dedicated to providing treatment and basic needs to children suffering from cancer. In 2014 they helped 50 children receive the necessary treatments. At the beginning cancer care was just a dream and now it's a reality. And heart surgeries, it was also a dream, and now it's a reality, it's the fourth round. And for me, it makes me proud, and for me, the only thing I can say on behalf of uh, Mexican families and the Baja California Sur families is thank you, thank you to all of you. The work of LCCF is providing hope for children and families like Herod and Estrella. They're saving lives one child at a time. Before the surgery, when I would play soccer, I would get tired. I would almost not be able to run because I would be out of breath. Now with this new opportunity at life, I'm going to be able to do many more things. And I am so grateful to the team that was able to perform this complicated surgery. Muchas gracias.